Maybe the felt friends will have something fun for us. Heck yeah, I can. You're just in time, Blue. I'm making words and pictures. I have some letters and shapes. Can you find the ones I need? Oh, good. Uh, yeah. There a this one actually one. seems somewhat fun. Because we can B. arrange the shapes. I don't know what this is oh. supposed to teach kids about, but, uh, I mean, there we go. It's an easy way of getting letters. Way easier than, um, <laughs> going for snack time over and over again. Do you want to make a different picture? Just click on the arrows. Well, yes, I would love to. Oh, I, I guess what this does is it... So it's a word and then the picture of the word. So you get to kind of make the picture and then spell the word. Okay, I, I guess this actually could be educational. And this is definitely more fun than the Shuffle and Tail game. Um... P. <laughs> it would not let me pick up the P. Again, this game is aimed at children who are at least slightly younger than I am. Here we go. Oh, the nest. I'm sure that felt friend is trying to give me hints, but I don't need them because. I'm a big kid now. Booyah. Thanks, felt friend. Aw, that's cute. Oh, we're gonna make a dog now? Oh. I was going to say this is actually gonna be more complicated because it has a lot of different pieces to it, but it actually turns out the pieces are literally just in two different piles, and wow, that's actually really easy. If they made, like, the, the head, ears, legs, and tail separate from the body, that actually would have been a lot more difficult to put together. I guess that's... We're not on hard mode, though. Like, frog. Ugh, that's... Frog is somewhat creepy. I think it's the eyes. But, alright, you know what? That's fine. You, we just played a game about a frog. But he wasn't that creepy. <laughs> this guy's just staring into your soul. Ah, oh, it actually croaked. A mask? This is also somewhat creepy. Hey, what? This time I think it's creepy because of the mouth. Hey. Ugh. K -M. Hey, look. Oh, hey, I think they actually color-coded the words so that each syllable is a different color. Actually, no, that doesn't work because mask is one syllable. Mask. Never mind. I was giving them more credit than they deserved. <laughs> I wonder how many pictures there are here. Again, I'm not sure if there's like a limit to how many different games you can play. If it's like, oh, once you've beaten Snack Time like 50 times, you run out of letters you can get from that game and have to go on to the other games. Or if it's just like, if there's an end to the amount of words that you can get for Blue. I don't know if this game actually has like an ending or 100% completion or anything. I'm just gonna go for it until I get bored. Hey, I don't, okay, now things... Oh, never mind. I thought each of those were individual yeah, fingers. And I'm like, oh my gosh, they're actually a. upping the difficulty is somewhat. D. Wow. I was going to give anybody, whoever designed that one a hand, but then all the fingers were stuck together, so... Guess not! Hand. Blue's very excited to be getting all these words for her word book. Still don't know what a word book is compared to any other book, but okay. I'm assuming that it's... Just books that Steve and Blue can write down any words that they like and try to make a story from them. A.K.A. E a book. <laughs> T I don't know. K Who am I to question the wonder that is Blue's Clues? So clearly here we're going to run out of pictures to make with the felt friends. Like... <laughs> no, no, the game is just continually creating puzzles for me as we go. Pig... This is P, fun. P, I, I'm having P, fun. I'm experiencing pig, fun, everybody. Pig. Pig. I also uh, just want to point out that we are literally in a felt board right now, thanks to the powers of Skidoo. Man, if I could have one superpower, Skidooing would be a pretty great superpower. Um, uh-oh. 
P. P. Let's That's weird. P. It was not. I had to click on a certain part of that letter P, you, in order P, to move it. But yeah, imagine how cool it would be to skidoo. Like, other than being able to like jump into imaginary places, what if you could like take a photo of a faraway location that's real, skidoo into it, boom, you don't have to fly on the airplane anymore. There's so many, so much winning. P. Plus, it's like, oh no. <laughs> Are the police after you? Don't worry, you can just hide in your home and skidoo into a pi like a family picture, and they'll never find you. Maybe that last example was somewhat darker than the others, but hey, I'm just talking. It's a very practical power. And imagine telling your friends, "Hey, I can skidoo. Can you?" And they're like, "What, what even is that?" They're and you're like, "Didn't you watch Blue's Clues?" And they're like, "When I was like three years old." It's like, "Yeah." So you should remember skidooing. I mean, my kid is watching that. It's like, well, yeah, well, your kid is also watching the new Terrible Blues Clues. You gotta watch the classic with Steve and my man, Joe. I still can't believe so many people have a deep-seated hatred of Joe simply because he's not Steve. Like, Joe is great. Like, is Joe as good as Steve? Probably not, but he came pretty close. And, like, he was his own guy. But everyone's just like, no, he's not Steve. This is the worst. <laughs> Joe, if you're watching this video, you want to I got your back there. Picture? Just click on the arrows. Also, I just want to point out that they actually took a bold decision with the uh, the show and being like, yes, yeah, Steve is actually leaving the show and he's going to college. You. Not a lot of shows do that, but I remembered that episode where Steve left for college. That was, that was a great episode. I probably wasn't as uh, emotionally affected by it, though, as a lot of people, though. <laughs> I like Steve, but, I mean, Joe was a guy I could get behind. Okay, now we're literally just spelling Let's numbers. Try. This Let's is not G. great. E. You I feel like the felt e. friends should have had e. more and more elaborate, e. like, felt Ten. patterns that you would have to make. Ten. I think that could have been cool. I'm gonna see if this game has an end. Like, not this game, but like the felt friends area. Because, like, the shovel and pail game, as well. Oh, guys, now we're actually getting some things that don't belong in the part of the word. Okay, it is actually getting somewhat more challenging. It's great! I love it! Yeah, I'm not planning on showing off everything in this game, but I at least want to show off a, a lot of it. But, like, the Shovel and Pail game just sucks. The Salt and Pepper game... I mean, I love snacks, don't get me wrong. They're amazing. Good one. Okay, now, see? Now, now the difficulty of the game is actually Tried. ramping up to a, a fun there... degree. Yeah. Gray. A. Yay, we're spelling ant. A. Oh yeah, if the letters actually overlap with where they need to go and you click on it, it doesn't actually uh, <laughs> let you pick it up. That's interesting design. I want to see how many more of these there are. Oh, okay, we can easily, we can get to the end of this. There's not a whole lot left. Good one. Is there a B? Presumably... There's probably an end of the Shovel and Pail games as well, maybe. Maybe I'll, maybe when we're done with this, I'll click on the word book and be like, Hey, how many... How many words do you actually... Are there actually to get in the game? Because I'm pretty sure when we go to the old puzzles, we're not going to be able to get uh, new words from them. It was just an eyeball sitting there. Should have put that on the bed. Ladybug, ladybug, fly away G. home. Good one. You. B. Oh, the bee was underneath it. Oh, that K. is mean. You have I'm gonna new. have a cow. You did it. B. B. You. G. B. Uh, I should go back and delve deeper into the Blue's Clues lore, because there are a lot of characters in this that don't have a lot of explanation for, like, who they are or how they got to here. Like, does anyone remember the kangaroo? I think it's like purple kangaroo. What's the deal with that character? 
didn't really get a lot of explanation on who they are or where they are, but they're just like, yeah, there's a, there's a kangaroo here. Also, I think there was a set of episodes where like, Blue started going to school. Either that or I'm just completely making all of this up, but I swear I'm not. Not sure if this came from the TV show or the extensive amount of Blue's Clues Humongous Entertainment games, because there's Blue's Birthday, which has two discs. There's the Blue ABC time activities that we're playing right now. There's also the blue one two free time activities, which I also want to play in the future, which is a lot better. And there's Blue's Clues Treasure Hunt, which is I remember being really cool, but I don't have it, and unlike a lot of the other Blue's Clues games, that game is actually kind of expensive on eBay, so. Alright, there we go. Look, Blue, we have a word for your word book. Oh, it's like a fill-in-the-blank book, is that it? <laughs> the cow was shining in the sky. Blue played with the toy in her pool. Cool. Oh wait, does it act- Oh hey! It actually made- Draws- That's really cool, actually. Here's what it says. The cow was shining in the sky. Blue played with a toy in her pool. If you want to hear it again, just click on the page. Can I re- can I re- I No, that's fine. Alright, there we go. Thanks, felt friend. Alright, where can we go next? Hey, Tickety Top, do you have any games? Where should we put No, you just have the, the book. Okay, Slippery Slope. Soap. <laughs> the Slippery Soap Fallacy. I forget- I completely forget what your game even is. We're in the bathtub. your rhyme, Slippery. Can you rhyme again? Whoa! Whoa! I don't know. Could you and Blue help me? I hope so. Okay, so this is just a rhyming game? Rhyme. Hey, we can make a rhyme. So the bathtub is just completely unrelated. Guitar! Giraffe! Sled! Pie! Pop! One of the bubbles! Um, Guitar. like... Caterpillar oh, ate a pie. pie. Here's the first part of my rhyme. The caterpillar... I think it would have been a lot harder to rhyme giraffe rather than pie. Hmm. It's not quite finished. Although if I get orange as an option, I will be picking it. Rain. Tree. Butterfly. Key. Butterfly. <laughs> nice one, Blue. Butterfly. Whoa. This is gonna be another really boring and repetitive Whoa. game, isn't it? Time, At least the Felt Friends one offered some variety. Oh. That word will work. The caterpillar ate a pie with his friend, the butterfly. Oh boy. Yay! This game takes a long time and is not very fun. It's the it's the double whammy. Uh, I, we'll do we'll do one more rhyme. Here we go. Let's try to rhyme a really difficult word. Pear, bed, whale, butterfly. Okay, well none of these are particularly difficult, so I like whale. Whale. Let's see. Shouted shovel and giraffe. Oh my gosh, she talks so slowly. Pale. Pale. Yeah, this is not a very inter- Why are Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper just watching us take a bath with a whistle in their hands? This is a little weird. It's like, excuse me, when I like to take a bath, I like to do it on my own. I guess the soap bar can be here, but if it's sentient, that makes it pretty strange. I do not want my mom. I do not want the mom and dad of the house to just be like staring at me in the in the sink. This is actually not. Actually, well, is this a bathtub? 
That looked like a sink drain, but I guess this could be a full-on bathtub. Maybe it's just blue is small enough that she can bathe in the sink. I don't know, but regardless, I'm not rhyming doing any of your, more of your rhyme slippery because you're just like, whoa, whoa, I talk really slowly. <laughs> and also that game's just not fun. Hey, mailbox, let's play a game. Mail time! Mail time! It's a letter from one of our friends. Oh, Let's wow! Take a look! It's Doc. <laughs> hey, that's your name on the letter. It's yeah! For you. Who's sending me a letter? What is this? Is this the, the 1800s? That blue? Oh, no. Everybody knows that you need to get a hold of Artie by texting him. But of course, Artie treats texts like they're the Pony Express. So if you message me, it, it very well might be like a month before I get back to you. Okay, yes, I know. Oh no, I can't read the letter even though the letter is still in. It's just kind of faded. Next page. It's a letter from our friends. Okay, we don't get one letter for the book every single time we fill it in. We play outside. Who are we? <laughs> this is a very ominous letter. Dear Artie, we like to play in the sand. Who are we? Do you know who we are? We like to play outside, especially in the sand. Who are we? Wow. Um, are you are you the creepy guy who's been staring through my window with the night vision goggles? Because if so, you you need to leave. Um. I, no, I don't want to read it again. Do you wag your tail when the mail comes? Are you gonna like? Um. I'll save the mail for later. I'm sorry. Did we? Did that actually do anything? Mail time. Mail time, mail time, mail time, mail time! Mail time! Are we getting another creepy letter from a stalker? It says, Dear Blue, at the top of that letter. We got a riddle for you. Is this. Okay, how did the riddler get my ad get my, get my address? What is green and bumpy and tastes sour? Uh, a bunch of different things. Sour Skittles. Oh, a pickle. Uh huh. Oh, it's from the Felt Friends. Can you make a riddle for us? <laughs> I could, but I don't think you'd like it. This is this whole game is just like let's read words to you because we think you're too stupid to be able to do it on your own. Can you make up a riddle for us? You are the friend of felt friends. You couldn't have read it without your help. Thanks. You could have, because they're still... Okay, we spelled a new word, a brand new car! Ready for more mail? Just click on my phone. Uh, no, I think we've had enough. Let's go and play by far the best game. 